Artificial intelligence is everywhere in our lives. The phones we use, the cars we drive, the devices we buy, even down to tech used in certain surgeries. And recently, I had the opportunity to be cloned by artificial intelligence and, well, let me tell you, it's pretty wild. Hello, this is Dom, your friendly neighborhood artificially intelligent virtual human. Lately, I've been working on a project with a company called Our One who specializes in virtual humans and I've been turned into exactly that. So how did we get here? Well, I had to go through a process of documenting my movements, my speech patterns, things like that in front of a huge green screen so that they could extract that data and it can be put together using their AI algorithm to generate what is now my artificially intelligent avatar. Hi, my name is Natalie Monbier and I am the head of strategy at Hour One. Hour One for for the uninitiated is what uh, we would call it an, an AI avatar service or? Yeah, that's pretty much right. Uh, we're a virtual human company uh, where we create virtual humans based on real people with their permission. And then what you can do with your uh, virtual twin is create endless amounts of video content just from text. And what you can also do is make your virtual twin available for hire by businesses. And that way you can gain a passive income. All right, so what you see here is about to be the making of, like this is kind of behind the scenes of shooting my AI avatar. You see, I have this giant green screen set up. It's about 10 feet wide and I have a stool there and we have um, the camera right here. That's basically, you can see it's just right in front of the green screen. And I sit in this chair and I actually record myself saying all of these random phrases. And I have to sit here, I have to talk, just moving my head, then I have to talk moving some of my hands, and then I have to talk and stay extremely still, which I don't know if you know how difficult it is to talk while being as still as possible. It's really hard, okay? Essentially, after all of that data was captured, Hour One was sent the information. They have a proprietary process that takes all of that and compiles it into... Me, a virtual avatar that can be used within the Hour One Reels platform. It's a pretty interesting and groundbreaking kind of technology, and to become the first YouTuber to be transformed into this is quite amazing. Sure, there are limitations to the technology, but the possibilities for the future are endless. I am now immortalized on this platform, and who knows, maybe one day after I'm long gone, I'll still be able to create content on the internet. Because of this, literally anyone can go on the Hour One platform and make me say whatever they want, within reason of course, in tons of different voices, and various backgrounds. The whole thing is kind of mind-blowing. I mean, I have a virtual avatar that lives in the cloud that can do or say whatever I ask it to do, and not, not even that, whatever anybody asks it to do. I am now publicly available on the Hour One platform, and if you want to try that out uh, or anything like that, I'll leave a link down below in that description for you. You can literally make me say and do whatever you want within reason. Of course. <laughs> I've also used a platform called Descript recently, which allows you to use their overdub feature that will give me the ability to correct words that I'm saying as I'm saying them in real time. And sometimes, I mean, I've used it in previous videos where I've made a mistake and I had to correct a word here or there. It is absolutely unnoticeable. And that tech combined with what our one has been working on means that eventually someday in the future, I will be able to have a full-on conversation with people that I know long after I'm gone. And this isn't like science fiction. Like, this is stuff that's actually going to happen in the future. Our vision is that everyone will have one <laughs> eventually. You'll have an avatar that can um, help communicate on your behalf. I think that the whole world of content creation is going to massively change in the next five to 10 years. I mean, think about it this way. We already have the ability for me to fully produce, star in, and write videos using my likeness and my voice without me even being alive. So that being said, the technology is gonna be much further ahead at the time that it peaks. Take HeyFriday.ai for example. They sponsored this video, but honestly, this is a pretty interesting and tech forward way to use artificial intelligence to write full articles 
or scripts about virtually any topic you'd like simply by entering a handful of keywords. HeyFriday.ai can produce up to 500 words a second and has over 40 templates, 30 plus writing tones, and this AI engine can even create more customized content for nearly any writing situation. And in future versions of Friday, you'll even be able to create custom templates to use. Friday is not only the most powerful AI assistant on the market, but it's also one of the cheapest to use. Literally, you can use Friday to write entire blog posts or scripts for videos. It's kind of insane how well this works. If you wanna try out Hey Friday for yourself, check out the link in the description to their public Facebook group, where the Friday team will be around for user feedback, giving away cash prizes and memberships, and they're even offering a coupon of one month of Friday's pro package at just $9.99 if you enter in the code $10 at checkout. Click the link in the description to find out more. So with all that in mind, I can now damn near fully produce entire videos, as I mentioned before, without even leaving my couch, without even being on camera, without even writing a single word. And while this technology is in its infancy, it's becoming very easy to use and very accessible for just about any user out there. Using the Hour One platform is very simple. All I have to do is click on new video up here in the top left corner. I can choose from one of the various templates here. Let's go ahead and choose this product tutorial template. We can name that and let's go ahead and click on use this template. After that, we are showing our screen with our various backgrounds, and I can go ahead and choose my presenter, which is right here, so I can have myself on all of these. And then from here, I can either type in custom text to have a voiceover done for those, or I can record my own voice or even upload a file. Once I'm done with that, I can adjust the various scenes here. I can adjust the colors and the style and everything like that. And when I'm finished with all of that, I can go ahead and click create video and it will create the video and only take a few minutes or so. So now what you just saw was actually my avatar showing you how to use the platform to create itself. That is some meta stuff right there. Essentially, all of this technology coming together is pretty crazy, but there are some stipulations to the whole thing, right? Like, it's always proper procedure to disclose that um, what you're seeing is an avatar version of that person. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be tricked or duped into thinking that you are watching the real person. Uh, Our One also has special watermarks that go on the footage. There's a profanity filter, things like that, that will keep the platform safe and at bay because because I mean, what if the AI takes over and then they're just making videos with my likeness? I mean, think about how realistic this situation is now becoming with AI versions of ourselves in the cloud. But don't worry about being confused. If you ever see me in this outfit, I am the virtual avatar version of the real Dom and you'll be able to tell pretty quickly based on my movements or mannerisms. I'm not here to cause harm. I'm just here to push forward with the future and eventually take over. Actually, I'm just kidding. That being said, I think a lot of this is is pretty amazing as to what Hour One is doing with their platform. And I'm super excited to see where this kind of technology goes in the future. It's really got me fascinated by the whole thing, now being involved in becoming a virtual human or an avatar or a character or whatever you'd like to call it. There's a version of myself, two versions actually, wearing two different outfits now that live in the cloud that will essentially be there forever and anybody can make it do or say whatever they want uh, within reason, like I said, but I just think that the t this kind of technology is coming so far so quickly and be before we even know it, there will be fully produced content of your favorite creators out there that potentially they didn't even make. But I wanna know what you think about this whole thing down in the comments section below about this whole process that I went to through about AI in general, virtual humans in general. I've checked out virtual humans in the past in previous videos and I just think that the whole thing, it's just crazy to me and I'm really excited to see where this kind of technology goes in the future. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Huge thank you to Hour One for letting me be a part of this process. It's been a wild 
journey and I'm just looking forward to seeing where everything else goes. So let me know your thoughts and questions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around here, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this is Dom and I will catch you in the next video.